matinee baseball from at the plate AJ Pollock and we are ready for some daytime baseball here comes the first pitch and afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway one and one to the D backs leadoff man can't complain a bit about the weather here. 75 degrees our temperature at first pitch. And it's one and two. Hey, I get it. You're all in fastball. You're pulling the trigger at almost anything. That is way too high. He's going to have to lower his sights. High in the air out to center field. Hicks is under it. Makes the play one away. I'm now to look at the Diamondbacks starting lineup. Danny, who stands out to you? Oh, man, I love what A.J. Pollock does for this offense. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands, always seems to turn in a good at bat, and he could do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. Eduardo Escobar is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. Batting third. Stepping up to the plate, David Peralta. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. Yeah, and he's letting these guys know early on he's not going to be afraid to work inside. I'm interested to see if that takes some of the aggressiveness away from these hitters. A count of one ball, one strike to David Peralta. Here it comes on one and one. A cold strike on the inside corner. And there is our officiating crew in this one calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have. A and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Here comes Brett Gardner now as he'll lead things off in the home first. Leading off for the Yankees, number 11. First delivery to him on the way. Gardner. Pop high in the air. Goldschmidt is there. He's got it one away. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Danny, any thoughts? Well, Matt, we all know it. The man to watch, Giancarlo Stanton. He finished last season with the most home runs in the major leagues. He won the major league home run title. He can put a ball into orbit when he catches it, and I hope he catches one in this game. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Peralta will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the Johnny second Johnny. out of the inning. Designated hitter, John Next Carlos will be the designated Stanton. hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Career line against Greinke. He's got three base hits in 18 at bats. He also has one home run. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Gone. That wasn't a particularly deep home run by today's standards, but it certainly did scream out of the park in a hurry. You see there on show track, an impressive 112 miles an hour off the bat. Batting four. Here, Didi Gregorius. Didi Gregorius. Yes, yeah, so he'll take a look at ball one. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Line drive to left. That gets down and the inning continues. He has success with two out and the bottom of the first stays moving. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. In now Aaron Hicks. And he puts it on the ground to second. Marte gloves it. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now, a winner of last year's Silver Slugger Award for first baseman in the National League. Here's a changeup to start the second, but that misses. It's a ball and no strikes. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, 
Goldschmidt has just over 1,000 base hits in his career to this point. One ball and one strike to the Diamondbacks first baseman. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitching staff to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Daniel Descalzo stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. Grounded up the first baseline. And that's through for a hit. Hey guys, that's an excellent job right there. That's a back foot slider. Usually those are kryptonite for most batters, and he's able to fight it off, keep his hands inside the baseball, and deliver a base hit. Into the box, Steven Souza, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Descalzo stands at first with one out. And that one stayed too low, apparently. I'll straighten him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. Previous history with Luis Severino. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Marte is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher's standpoint. You know, he takes his chances when he has count leverage. Without question, 1 0, 2 0. You'll see this guy try and get nasty a little bit. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Here comes the first pitch. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. hit hard on the ground is short. Ahmed fields it cleanly. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Okay, here's how the snakes are lining up defensively. And let's focus our attention on shortstop Nick Ahmed. Defense is this guy's calling card. One of the slickest defenders in our game. Super sure-handed and doesn't get enough love on the defensive side of the ball. Throw on the first is in time and Grinky's got himself two outs. Digging in, Nick Boyd to try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And Grinky gets ahead with the fastball, nothing in one. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get. Is swung on and driven out to right center field, a ball that's well hit. And it is troubled. It finds the gap for extra bases. Around second now and headed for third. And he'll get in there safely. Wow, it looked like he was carrying a piano around the bases on that one. But somehow he makes it all the way around the third for a triple. Give credit where credit is due. Nobody in the park, including me, thought he had that in him. Stepping in now, Gleiber Torres, as Greinke jumps ahead of him here with strike one. Trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. Here's the 0-1. 
Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Well, you're in trouble at the plate if you fall behind this guy, 0-2. So that was a good job to hold up right there. Hey. Takes a knee-high fastball. Popped him up. Marte waits on it, and that retires the side. Welcome back to Major League Baseball on MLB Network as we're set for the top half of the third from the Bronx. First pitch of the at bat. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. One one home. He swung on and missed for strike number two. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Previous history with Luis Severino. He's a perfect two for two. Ani ah, takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Into the box now, A.J. Pollock. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And that one stayed up a little high. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. The 1 2. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Stepping up now, Brett Gardner, over one here in the early going. Here's the first pitch now from Greinke. Here's Greinke back to work now as he jumps ahead of the first man to greet him. It's strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Is a swing and a high pop up. Marte is there for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Here's big Aaron Judge. Now a drive by Judge. Deep left field. And it's gone as they add still another. That wasn't a particularly deep home run by today's standards, but it certainly did scream out of the park in a hurry. You see there on show track, an impressive 112 miles an hour off the bat. Giancarlo Stanton now. John Carlos Bullet back up the middle. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. And this will find the wall out near Monument Valley. 
And he'll pull into second with one away. Just an absolute laser that time. Screaming off the bat, if you will. And Showtrack tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. Here's Didi Gregorius. Popped him up. Marte over to his left. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Stepping in, Aaron Hicks, runner in scoring position with Sugar. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Missed with a slider. Lifted the other way to left center. On the move is Pollock. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. The run will score from second as now it's a three to nothing game. In now, Miguel Andujar. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hey, you know, Dero, a lot of the top pitchers, if you're going to get to them, you want to get to them early. This is a big lead, three nothing early against a very good pitcher like this guy. Yeah, they have to feel good about this one, Dan. Going to have to find a way to slowly tack on runs, but if you would have told this offense they'd have three early, they would have took it. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. Well, that's demoralizing right there. Nice job by the offensive player getting oh, the head out. But that's got to upset you. Thinking that ball might have went foul. But you know, you hear it all the time that the game baseball is a game of inches. One inch, one way or the other, could have been the difference between a foul ball and a base hit right over the third base bag. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. As Greinke jumps ahead of him here with strike one. Hicks over at second. Andujar on at first with two down. And a big strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't. Two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. Eduardo Escobar standing in. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. And he lays off for ball one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2 1 it is looked at off the plate for a ball. Great A.B. so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this one. Very weakly on the ground. But it rolls foul, so we'll have another payoff pitch. Payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Well, David man. Peralta. Well, he looked to bounce back after well, striking well, out well, his last time up. Drilled to the left side. Andujar's got it. Throw on to first to get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another 1-2-3 inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Way in front of that fastball. Watching him on the mound, I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really aggressive and confident over the last couple of innings. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. He's been throwing strikes all day. So you're not up at the plate thinking he's going to walk you in this situation. 
You need to be aggressive and sit part of the play. Chopped in front of home plate. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Diamondbacks down in order. They trail it here, three to nothing. Leading off the fourth. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Luke Boyd. He sets a lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. You know, we saw these guys around the cage during batting practice, and they told us they were going to be aggressive. I think this is getting a little ridiculous. They better watch themselves. If they don't start putting balls in gaps, this guy's going to find himself in the eighth inning cruising. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Number 25. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Still no balls and two strikes. The next 0-2 is looked at for ball one. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Fouled away. Forge to third. Escobar has it. Throw in time at first for route number two. Here's Brett Gardner now. He got under one and popped out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Another 0 and 2 coming. And he fouls this one off. Certainly no offer in that one. It's one and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Just got a piece to the right side. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Good work there by... Riding forward now is the D.H. Daniel Descalzo, one for one after a single this first time up. And oh, look out as he has to hop out of the way of the fastball there. Descalzo, a California-born ball player. He was selected in the third round back in the draft of 2007. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Hits this one hard the other way. Gregorius has it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. How about it? Right Standing here. in, Steven Souza. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ground ball right side. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Ready now, Cattell Marte. First pitch coming. Here it is. And it's fouled away. This guy's one of the best bunters in the league, but with two outs, 
I'm not sure that's a really good play right now. He might be forced to go ahead and swing the bat and try to get an extra base hit here with two outs. Behind 0-2 now. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. And that slider's almost in the dirt. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Three two pitch. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So one. Ready for another chance. Aaron Judge Leading comes off, in Indians. one for two with that right home run he hit earlier. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Now designated hitter, John Carlos Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. A late swing on the slider, and quickly it's 0-2. This is what every pitcher likes to have. Another 0-2 count really puts the hitters on a defensive side in multiple ways. You can go fastball up. You can go breaking ball down. One of the keys getting ahead, and he's done a very good job of that so far. Damn, with that single, he's now three quarters of the way to hitting for the cycle. The toughest one still on the shelf, though. He's got to get a triple. Yeah, that's you said it, Dero. That's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line or one of those tweeners in the gap. He has enough speed, so if he can find a gap or find one down the line, maybe he can do it, and he's going to at least get one more at bat in this one. This is pulled into right, and that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. Into the box now. Aaron Hicks. Swing and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep. And you can't forget about it. This ball is gone. home run down the line in right as they pile on it's now six to nothing as soon as this thing left the bat you knew it had the distance to get out of here the only question was whether it was going to stay fair or not and that question was answered with the resounding doink as it caromed off the foul pole for a homer here's Miguel Andujar now and that'll be the second out up next for the Indians Digging in, Gary Sanchez. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is, he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Peralta is camped under this one. As he puts this one away, the side is retired. Another look at the big blow for the Bombers. A three-run home run. We're through five here this afternoon, and it's all New York. Six-nothing Yanks. Now with the plate, Nick Ahmed will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched at this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Good. 0-2 oh now. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. He's around first, heading for two. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Well, the pitcher can't really worry about that one. I mean, 
it was only their second hit of the game, so he's doing a lot of things right. Let's see if he can leave them out there now. You set and the pitch. Right over the middle, knee high. Wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Take two pitches at the knees right now, and you're down 0 2. This is where you got to fight. I want to see a two strike approach. Maybe a little choke up, maybe a little fight up the middle the other way. Grind back into this count. And this is swung on and missed, and boy, they took care of a key man there. Run away. So the lineup flips over and digging in. A.J. Pollock, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And he'll miss the target away with the fastball. It's 1 0. Diamondback center fielder with a friendly 2 0 count. On the get him off balance there as he reaches for that one but can't find it. It's 2 and 1. This is the stuff that infuriates a manager. You have to think the game. You got to know he's trying to pitch around you. You cannot swing at that pitch out of the zone. Eduardo Escobar will be next. Fastball in there, three and two. Ahmed, the runner at second with one away. Little tapper down the first baseline. That rolls foul, and they'll do it again. Another full count pitch on its way. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits, so his command has been pretty solid so far. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Great job of getting back in the zone with a hard fastball after the walk. I think he might have let a little frustration out with that pitch. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Striding in, David Peralta. He was a ground out victim last time up. First offering on its way. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Smoked on the ground up the middle. A bare hand for one. Back to first, and that was a sparkler. A double play, and the inning is over. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Randall Delgado gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least beat a couple of innings for his guys. Here comes the first pitch. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Popped up. Back behind second. Marte has a play. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting, Gleyber Torres. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch on its way. And a neck high fastball that time. Delgado has tossed more than 500 innings at the big league level and sports an ERA right around the major league average at just over four. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Souza is over near the line now as he makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Here's Brett Gardner now. He's set. Here it comes. Down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a bunt attempt here, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. And the pitch. And here's a fastball on 0 2, but it misses 1 and 2 now. Bunt attempt now, but this is foul, and the inning is over. What was that all about? Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one.
the 1-1 home. He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. I'll tell you, we're in the later stages of this ball game, but his fastball is still coming out of his hand with plenty on it. Two and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse, and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. And he struck him out. The tenth victim sat down on strikes thus far. First offering on its way. That's lifted the other way out to left. Gardner is there. Two down. How about it? Right here. Stepping into the box, Steven Souza. He was a ground out victim last time up. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Hey, we're moving into the later innings right here. This guy's continuing to pitch well with this first pitch strike percentage well over 60%. That's about league average so far, so he's right on point. Pitch on the way. High and deep to right center. After it is Hicks. And that retires the side. Diamond back. Here's big Aaron Judd. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. And he's going to beat the offline throw to first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. Giancarlo Stanton now. His previous meetings with Randall Delgado. He's a 300 hitter, 3 for 10. Hit hard on the ground is short. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Boy, talk about having a day, Debro. He gets his fourth okay. knock of the game, but mixed in with one of those four was a round trip, but not a bad day. Yeah, you have five, maybe a handful of games that you can throw out four knocks throughout the course of the year. Add in a tater to go with it. He's smiling. His food's going to taste better tonight. Here's Didi Gregorius. Judge on second, Stanton at first with no outs. Runner breaks for third. The tag, and they got him as he couldn't get back to second. Comes set, and the 0-1. Now a bunt attempt here, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Again, he's off for second. Not in time as he steals second. Digging in and looking for more, Aaron Hicks. He's driven in four already, and yet another big RBI opportunity for him right here. Matt, they couldn't have asked for anyone to hit better in this spot than this guy right here. He looks dialed in at the plate right now. And Goldschmidt will make the catch, and that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. They lead it six zip. And that'll bring in the middle infielder Cattell Marte. He leads Do off their half of the home. eighth and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah he settled in early on the mound partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Lifted down the line and left. Here comes Gardner, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. And that's the chance you take when you lay out for a ball like that. 
You make the play and you're a hero on the highlight shows. You miss it and you're picking yourself up and chasing after it. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Those were great takes right there. Those were pitches that a lot of guys normally swing at, but he took both of them and finds himself in a productive count leverage 2 0. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. And he will beat the tag, safe at the plate. Here's Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. Sonny Gray gets the call as he'll pitch with one gun in the top of the eighth. Ball one to start the at bat. The one and no delivery. And that pitch misses in the dirt and it's two and oh now. That was a non-competitive pitch right there and he finds himself behind 2-0 in this situation. He's going to have to locate something down the zone to get himself back in this count. Hicks is under it. Makes the play and there are two gone now. How about it? Now back to the top of the lineup stepping in A.J. Pollock. Career numbers against Sonny Gray. He's hitless in three at bats. First pitch hacking here and that's the first strike. Gray, 28 years old. He was a first round pick back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself in. Line drive to left. Almost into the short porch, but it's off the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. He doubled up on the heater right there. The first one he blew right by him. Second one, timing was on point, and he was able to get a hit. Eduardo Escobar standing in as here's a strike from Gray to put him in the hole 0 and 1. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Line towards center field. That's in there. Base hit. Now a long throw home. And they will not get him at the plate. He's in there to score and it's a 6 to 2 game now. Coming to the plate now David Peralta trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. So here's the cleanup. First base for number 44. A.J. Cole enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. His career numbers against this pitcher. He's hitless in three at-bats. Line hard toward right center. And they're going to chip away some more as this is down for extra bases. A run in. Here's a second runner around third. He'll score easily. And they cut the gap here. It's now six to four. You simply cannot offer up a pitch like this to a hitter of this guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. Daniel Descalzo is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Hit hard on the ground to first. A play at the plate. Oh, he may have been a little disoriented there or something. That's going to allow his man to reach first safely. And as a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is more painful than having to get extra outs in an inning. That should have been out number three there. Instead, he has to refocus and get back to work. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0 -oh is looked at for the first strike. Fouled off. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. Here's the first pitch to him. 
high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Coming in is Pollock. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Up next for the game. Digging in now, Gary Sanchez. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan, what does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? Hero, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else, but on that bump right now, this has the makings of being a long game. And a foul tip held on to here at strike one. And now for the second batter in a row. This is in the air out to left field. Peralta is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Up next for Arizona, Cattell Marte. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. One and one the count now. From the windup, the one one pitch. A little bouncer, but it gets foul. The one two. Sharp ground ball to third. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Well, you're usually in this situation looking for a bloop and a blast. He didn't want to bloop it, and he hit a missile. Aroldis Chapman comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Back up the middle. And there's a base hit as well as that's into center field. Two straight hits to kick off the ninth. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all ambush tactics. First pitch fastball middle end. He's able to drive that for a nice center. Into the box. Alex Avila. No balls in one strike. Pitch on its way to Avila. And the slider stayed low apparently for a ball. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Throw over to third here. And the throw across the diamond is late at third. Why would he do that? Man, I don't know how, but they've been booting the ball all over the yard, and they still have the lead. Sometimes you win despite your defense instead of because of it, but they can't keep doing this and expect to be successful. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Lifetime line against Chapman. He's hitless in three at-bats. And that one just missed outside. Chapman has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Pollock in front, three balls and a strike. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Now batting. So striding in, Eduardo Escobar, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Back to first, so they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. So a big moment in the ball game here. David Peralta, as he'll hit with the go-ahead run at third and two away. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Well, both of those balls have been inside. So if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Now the 2-1. Hey. A good knee-high changeup taken for a strike. Not too often you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. Gardner is there now to put this one away for the... 
And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Peralta is under it. One down. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Brett Gardner struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. No balls and a strike to count. Bases are empty, one man out. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back, see the ball a little bit deeper. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. Solo shot here to straightaway right field. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Well, everybody wants to be a hero and hit one of those walk-off game-winning home runs. So you know right now when he's getting mobbed by his teammates, he has to feel awfully good. And the Yankees offense was led in large part by this man, Giancarlo Stanton. What a performance he turned in. He's our top's player of the game. Yeah, just a great all-around performance from him at the plate. As the stats indicate, ended up with four hits, including a home run. So there is no doubt he was instrumental in 